bypassing is a very important topic and accidents have happened because people didn't do it properly and bypasses are required for either maintenance purposes to start up units you have to put things in bypass but there's good ways and bad ways of doing bypasses so there's a number of lessons learned that I try and cover with, with the course and point out the various clauses in the standard that do reference and mention bypasses and people realize okay this is a fairly important topic and how you can hopefully do it well and manage it well and document it well so you don't have accidents that have been recorded to people not doing bypassing properly. Another friend of mine who spent his career with UOP before he got into consulting with another company said he was doing a startup in a refinery and they had to place a loop and bypass. And the only way to do it was a jumper wire. So he tells everybody he's with, I'm opening the panel, I'm putting this yellow jumper wire in here, you must remove the jumper wire, because I'm being called out, I have to go somewhere else. After the startup, you must remove the jumper wire. He closes the panel, puts a, a sign, takes a piece of paper, puts a sign, remove the yellow jumper wire after startup. And he tells everybody there, he said he went back to that same facility 20 years later, and that jumper wire was still in place. The particular course is EC50. It, the title is Safety Instrumented Systems. It goes along with the ISA 84 standard on this subject and the companion ISA book. It is a four-day course intended to teach people to help them understand the ISA 84 standard. Groups like ISA and others write standards, and a standard, when you read it, isn't intended for teaching. You read a document, and it says, you shall do this, and then people go, well, why? I don't understand, and what's the rationale, and how do I do that? So the 84 committee has written a number of technical reports to try and help people, literally hundreds and hundreds of pages of stuff, and also the ISA book, several hundred pages to try and help people, but different people learn different ways. So while some may be happy reading a book and others may be happy taking an online course, the face-to-face -face course is four days. Uh, and it's grown from two days to three days to four days, and one of the main benefits of taking it is it allows students to then be part of the certificate program and get a qualification in this area. Both the face-to-face -face course and the online course cover the whole life cycle, the whole concept of, of safety systems from cradle to grave, from the process design, through process hazards analysis, through the safety requirement specification, through detailed engineering, software design, installation commissioning, maintenance and testing, management of change, decommissioning, the whole life cycle of the system.